Alright lads, welcome back. Another night of Long War of the Chosen. It'll be a shorter stream this evening, just a couple hours. To choose that, typically play Dota. Choose their nights on myself. Let's squeeze in a couple hours of Long War. Right, we have a cover data cache mission. High explosive sit rep. Position confirmed. <clears throat> Let's swing left, see if we can't avoid this drone. If it come towards us though, our cover's gonna be blown. Okay. Friggin' annoying, but... What can you do, eh? Bestätigt, drück aus. Ich habe hier feindliche Aktivität. Okay, that would be much better if we went live against those lads. So much so that do I want to... Steady weapon, I think I do. Cool, her nickname's High Noon. I think for a sharpshooter. It's High Noon. Right, ML. Okay, looks like we didn't get revealed. Heading out. Let's have the sharpshooter open up here. And get to work. 87. Shot ML. I think the assault rifle lad should still overwatch. My guess, I suppose it's only a guess, is that this pod off here to the left is going to react before the drone does when the overwatch. I'm probably safer leaving Quad Fox to. Hack the drone. This would need to roll max or crit, but that's my best chance to one tap this officer. So let's take it. Nice. No crit, max damage. Curses. See if that reveals the shinobi. It does. Well, like I said, there's no reason why I shouldn't just slash him. If I can slash into cover, which looks like I can't do. Roger. What is the control? I mean, it's one in two chance. I think it's worth a try because I mean, I've got a shotgun shot and a free throw of an axe. Fifty percent. Oh, G Lord, it's going all right. Um, I wanted to get that mod that you sent activated, but it'll be for tomorrow's stream because I assume I can load it in mid campaign as long as I'm not in the tech layer. Oh, sick point creeping about somewhere. How likely am I to get revealed if my assault trooper gets on the roof here? Not very likely. So, as you might have seen in my Discord, I was going on about how I... love, love the all pods active style of play. And I've already tried it with Long War the Chosen, but my experience was pretty much as expected, which is that... Quick save load which is that for certain mission types where it's not particularly balanced it becomes really challenging like the headquarters assault missions when you have conservatively speaking let's say 35 aliens coming at you that's just so many bodies that it's going to be really very challenging i don't think it's impossible but i would need a squad pretty much built from the ground up to deal with just that and you would need i think aoe would be the key Poison grenades, multiple rockets, that type of shit. A lot of overwatch. You have that trooper. Is there any chance to see that trooper? Well, let's go ahead and... Hello. Would I be able to see the drone from there? I need this drone to come closer anyway, so... Eight active. Okay, interesting. Exactly. Like we're getting we're getting an early bit of practice in the 
We'll play Vective Mud here now. Stunner, I don't think does anything, does it? Drone Shock. Too far away. Sixty six gone. Bail. El Blanco sigue en pie. <sighs> this camera is fucked. That, that's an engineer and a gunner. Okay. Let's see what Stunner does to a drone. I don't think it would do anything, would it? Would it shut it down? Hmm. Interesting. I shut it down. I hope it's worth it. Let's get the free extra off. Nailed him. And the slash is pretty tempting as well. I mean, I could run and gun shotgun as well. And with seven active, we can expect a lot of action on the next turn. I think let's just hit the roof. And be ready for aliens in the next turn. This camera is annoying me now. Will do. This camera being an issue seems to be something that 24.2 has brought in. Should zoom in. not something in one of the mods. Does it not look like a camera mod? Fire. Don't we have like a free camera mod? Fixes, not a control. I think it's that. And let's get evac going. Requesting immediate evac. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Big deal. Advent Hello, lads. Any? It's a lot of nerds. I think they, act they activated on their turn, so they shouldn't go into Overwatch or anything. Hello, we're grand. Eight hit points, eight hit points, eight, two, three, four, uh, plus the two drones. All right. What's over there? See what kind of shot we can get here. Hmm. Oh, that's right. Okay, there we go. Thank you. And then what takes me back to the standard camera? Can I stun anything here? Like that. Twenty-five with the try. question of who's most dangerous here and the assault trooper can kill that trooper fortunately quad fox can do nothing from up there and i don't think there's anywhere i can go to give my sharpshooter a decent shot at anything I think I can get a multiple enemy enemy flamethrower here. 
Can I grab that loot? Doesn't look like it. So I want to have the snake bind my assault trooper. That full cover there. So as long as I don't group anybody up that much, the snake shouldn't spit poison at us. I would expect the snake to shoot at the hacked drone in any event. a straight suppressor, not worth. So I thought I'd try that because even if it didn't get the kill, it would then leave me in melee contact with a snake, making the snake have it. the most likely action of the snake would then be a bind, which is the least dangerous thing it could do. Zombies fine. Remember, we do have feedback active. But I don't think reanimation procs feedback. I think from the sectoids, it's only the panic ability, mind spin. You would think that the mind control would proc feedback as well, but I guess not. Did I remember to pull in evac? I did. Yeah, there it is. I don't think there's any doubts about who's the MVP of this mission. <laughs> Keela, fucking monster. Okay, we need to actually start killing drones this turn. So here, uh, let's see, assault rifle plus assault rifle should take care of that. Shooting. Let's try to kill this drone. T7 with the sniper. 66 with the pistol to do two to four. Just need one, so. Good point, Waldo. It's a little strange interaction, isn't it? Alright, 10 killed. That's all of them. Let's make sure we get these drones. We're getting double for drones this, this month. I get the heck from there, so. interestingly enough. Attempting infiltration. It's actually on the second floor there, look at that. Okay. One new rebel, large cache of intel. Let's get the rebel. Should actually see if it works. Uh, in 23.1, that resistance broadcast was balked. Perfect timing. Evacuate on the next turn. Sure thing. Kind of a perfect mission. Most. And we didn't even need to use the explosives from the explosive sit rep. Lucky me. But, um, yeah. Right, Advent retaliations are going to start soon. And we will have unlocked mag weapons very soon. But it's going to be another month before we can actually have the supplies to be able to actually build any. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Packing it in. Okay, 
Right job team, great mission. Keep an eye on things. I'm trusting you here. Ready to boogie. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. For me, some biggest booms. So have they changed concussion rocket? Because I've always thought of it as a pretty shit skill. Fire a special rocket that does limited damage, but has a chance to stun or disorient organic enemies within its area and leaves a cloud of smoke. The whole leaving a cloud of smoke thing is annoying because then you can't shoot the enemies that are there. But I suppose it's, it's AOE. But Shredder, especially for someone who's got 78 aim at Corporal. Shredder plus kill zone plus sentinel gonna be sick na, na, na. do we need stun gunner we do not that aim we don't need it run a gun grants critical damage take that because we're gonna go extra conditioning see they haven't changed fortify aggression is still the same plus five up to 30 two bonus ablative less exposure from damage that's still the same uh, hit and run. Still gonna go rapid fire. Then bring him on. Plus one damage on crits for every two enemies. CCS is great. But because I've taken Killer Instincts, I think I want to uh, bring him on. Because the two synergize. 50% critical damage with plus one for critical hits. And then lethal is actually quite tempting do two additional points of base damage especially because it's four extra damage with rapid fire on top of everything else and the crits chain lightning minus 50 penalty to aim um, I don't think the sharpshooter still gets a multi-target ability I mean I would only consider chain lightning if I'm pairing this assault trooper with a sharpshooter who happened to get hollow targeting and went down the pistol route to be able to mark an entire map full of enemies. But even with that, they would still give you, what, with a level 3 holo target? Uh, it's 20, so it's still a minus 30 chance to hit. It's, it's not great. Combo shock and attack. Does burst damage unarmored targets. Block movie cover. Mm. I think you, you can't do better than, than this combo of killer instinct, rapid fire, bring him on, lethal, to just execute an enemy a turn. I would agree. You, you just anything that gives plus damage is too good to turn down. That's the reason I take um, what's it called? Central balance, whatever it's called. Plus one damage. Plus one damage for the ranger and plus one damage for the sharpshooter. We've got the schematics, and our equipment is too ready good. to begin assembly, Commander. Just give the word, and we'll build the skull jack. Your battle scanners. Start deploying those. What would that actually cost? I do love Talon Rounds. And Hazmat Vests are also pretty chef's kiss. Center Mass, thank you. Let's go we'll Battle Scanners as soon as we can and roll them out to all of our Haven Advisors and see if that makes an appreciable difference in staying on top of the faceless problem. I understand that we still have to root out the ones that are already here. There is that. Tough combat units with bonus hit point. I am sure you will find the results to be at these magnetic-based weapons are a lot like the early railgun prototypes. 
They fire projectiles at extremely high velocity. I can't understand why 2K doesn't do more XCOM merch. Like, imagine if you could buy the, you know, accurate replica Tigan's jersey or Shin's hot pants or whatever the hell she's wearing or Bradford's, you know, his jumper. Even even if they just sold um, just patches, you know? Vigilo Confido patches. Well, I think if I take the instant, then... Undungo, thank you for uh, following. So I want to go Resistance Radio, but I think we lose the Inspired if I do anything else. No, they don't. No, they're missing out. I seem to recall they do like generic 2K branded mugs, but like who wants a 2K mug? Getting a video computer tattoo, oh well. For me, it would be Mutara at Custodium would be the one I would get. <sighs> uh, we don't need an engineer in there for more contacts. We're good for the moment. Let's go get Western Asia. communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. You know, I was thinking today while I was making coffee that the fact that I started in Templar HQ meant that the infirmary uh, pickup ahead of the GTS is retrospectively a mistake because Templar HQ healing doesn't stack with the infirmary. So I could have gotten a jump on the officers Commander and just use the Templar headquarters. Oh well. Right, get, could I can fix my squads now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> seven. What is Desert Storm missing? So we've got Assault Shinobi, Specialist Technical. Okay, we need a Ranger. Which Skeeter will join. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. And then uh, Ivanova and Roy will be the second pair uh, in Black Ops. So let's see here. Uh, Ivanova for Specialist, Roy or Shinobi. But also in retrospect, what I wish I'd done here was on my main squads, my, my first two main squads, I should have leveled them as these covert action operatives. And then once they're available, like in this situation, I would have these guys to replace the covert guys who would then have seen enough action in like Navy, Jungle Rats or Desert Storm to get them up to Sergeant. Then they get dropped down to Black Ops and then the replacements take over. So much has been learnt. Okay, good. We've got Sergeants, so that means we can make contact the next uh, group of soldiers. Oh, I forget, I forget what they're called. Uh, it's going to be... I think it'll be the Reapers. We're probably going to get the Reapers before we get to the skirmishers. Attempting to establish local regional contact. We got our full roster back. We don't have a lot of missions popping though. Frustrating. So 4.54 and at the end of the month, power coil ready. I could just slap a lab down onto that shielded power coil straight away. Upping the lab, but what's next? Resistance comms we've got. 
It's training center we need next, which will go there. Lab will go here. Power coil will eventually replace that power relay. I've chuckled on the coil. Other stuff will go there. GTS, infirmary doesn't need upgrading. Resistance ring. Additional staff slot to reduce covert action durations further. Doesn't give you an extra order. Interesting. Six days to start liberating, and this is boostable. Advent of deploying new armor based on materials that resist environmental effects. Advent is immune to hazards like fire, poison, and ice. Setting course for India. We've definitely had a quiet period, though, in terms of uh, our missions, which I don't like. Okay, it looks like we can send this five man squad, and that's about it. Which honestly is fine. If I can get five men out there, that's straight 32 intel. I could send out a bigger squad and boost and still make seven intel. Hack workstation facility, extremely light, very doable. Uh, advanced, expanded, thank you very much. Honestly, in this squad, I might, yeah, AP rounds here, I think is the way to go. Technical, 78, aim, that's nice. Modern. Hunter's Axe, SMG. Ooh, got ourselves a cheeky mag rifle. A mag rifle with no one to use it, huh? This is a fairly strong squad. I might leave the one mag weapon for the next squad that goes out. But we can build another one, so. Gauntlet. Hmm. Almost cancer. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Martin. Shit, dude. That sucks, but I'm sorry to hear that. All the best for you and your family, dude. Let's go, Mag Rifle. Uh, let's see, advanced scope. Let's go. Expanded mag. And let's go. Suppressor. Good to know that we've got two mag rifles ready to go for the other two squads that we can still field. 103%, 7-9%. Combat awareness, mobility. The assault trooper needs that. The shinobi doesn't particularly need the mobility. 15 minus 15, 14. We'll hang on to that mobility for someone else. Right, Operation Cursed Breath. This is Navy. We got Deadeye, Keeler, Wardy, Cassie, and ML. Sky Ranger deployed. In position for deployment. Not, let's hope your mom rolls a natural 20. Holding out. Setting course for the West Asian Corridor. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Though I was not the sex toy's rapid physical evolution over the past 20 years is a testament to both the alien... Uh, resistance radio straight away. ...and their pursuit of advancement, regardless of the risk. The science is uh, decreasing effectiveness of oh that sucks although it still says 454 maybe we'll only see the effectiveness next month lyrium crystals excellent
think at the end of the month I might want to build a radio relay immediately so I can get the continent bonus and then jump into Eastern Europe. Is that? I think that, that indicates the headquarters for the other faction. Headquarters. Our cooperation has proven covered up, obviously. So modern and is it Pavlov. So question, rapid deployment or needle grenades? I think needle grenades. Only rapid deployment on the Navy Grenadier because he's the only one who can use that ice grenade. Is Skeeter and Steebling. Send some range, some random. Sixteen days. Oof. Four days for rebels. Very large map. I would have to boost that if I want that to be doable. That's not worth it. Okay. Assassin bitch. Let's see, so. Strength one, um, vigilance one. I think I might want to just be gathering until at one spot now. I really want to try to do liberation missions here. One there already. Setting course for Sector 5, India. Now, I'm looking forward to trying this uh, All Pods Active mod. Gonna be interesting. There we go. Let's go, Mike. What does the additional one cost? 35... Oh, you need a Staff Sergeant first. The wet work and Vulture are available. So at the end of the month, I think I have to pick up those two. 150 plus 75 is 225. Gives us with an extra... 220... Our income was 450, now it's 300 because of that friggin' dark event. Ish. I think this is good for intel. It is indeed. Let's start liberating here. I, I will go back to having intel gathering in two jurisdictions, but because we've just unlocked mag weapons, I think for the next couple of months, I want to focus on supplies. Hello, Lilu. Come, kitty. Come, Salah. Okay, never mind. Uh, just so you know, chat, my cat says fuck you. That's not typical. She, she, she walks in the office going, and like giving you the little hello. And as soon as you want to touch her, then she's like, no, don't touch me. Okay, download data cache, five of us, seven to nine. Heading to that location. Eyes on a hostile patrol. And decisive, I think we should make that the command, make that the command though. Up, up Emir. Orders confirmed, moving out. Solid copy. Oh <laughs> yes, I remember that, yeah. Oh, used. 
Well, this is a nice starting uh, starting position. Hopefully these guys don't walk away. We can have a shot out in the open at the purifier. And of course the mech stays out in the open. Surveillance drone. That's in blast zone for the rocket. But the problem is with biggest booms, I'm risking not getting loot from the purifier or the mech. Now the mech shouldn't move, so the one lad overwatching will hit the Flammenwerfer. Excellent. Flammenwerfer. And I think our assault trooper has the zappy zap ability for armor piercing mech damage. He does. So I can do four to six, two to five. Just see how much damage this does because if this does decent damage then the shotgun shot might be able to finish off the mech and then i probably won't have to reveal my shinobi but with only five of us i think i should be prepared to reveal the shinobi yeah, look at that nine damage that's probably going to need the shinobi and the assault trooper I mean, I suppose technically I could blue move, throw the axe, and then slash the mech to kill it. It's two to five. See how much this does, because if I can save that three axe throw, then I probably should. I mean, someone's going to get zapped by the drone, but that's just irritating. And do I have a specialist who can remove the stun? I cannot. We only have seven turns, so let's hope that our shinobi doesn't get stunned. Autoloader, very nice. Right, three down, six to go. This is fine because it gives us a turn to evac. Don't want to pick up another Flammenwerfer corpse. What, what, what do the purifiers give you from the proving ground? Can anyone tell me? Uh, unlock. It's not. Is it flame grenades? Do you, do you need flame flame guy corpses for anything? Hmm. Because the only way that I can get them out safely is with the Fulton Harness. Flame resistant vest. It's the Hellweave vest, isn't it? The one that does damage when you get hit in melee. Which is a pretty crap vest. I think I'll just take the straight five alloys from the mech instead. It is still double drone. No, no. Yeah, it's double drone month for another five days. Got it covered. Which is why we evac the one drone already. I don't believe so. I think chrysalids give you chitin plating. Oh, you bastard. Oh, that was unlucky. Very unlucky. But are our 
off flank arena options here. Be good. What's over there? Uh, not yet, Waldo. It'll be active tomorrow night. I, I didn't want to have to get out of the game and uh, you know load a mod and reinstall and do all that shit. So Keela is actually going to have to go back for this thing. Is my salt trooper. Get extra crit chance. So there's a pretty, an okay chance that I can one-shot the Sidewinder. If I get the crit here and get the extra damage and we one-shot the Sidewinder, then our Shinobi can heal herself. No, no Shinobi has to get involved. You fucking kidding me, you piece of shit. Fucking graze. I really do want that mech corpse. So much so that I'm gonna leave it up to the rest of the squad to take care of the other enemies. There's only like four of them left anyway, so. Surely, isn't that isn't that a window there through that little kitchen? On my way. Oh no, it's not. It's amazing, isn't it? This is the original game's soundtrack. that it's worth freezing or fragging but let's just go ahead and frag him see if we get lucky and the cover gets destroyed I still maintain that enemy within had the best ready up music so hype shot okay gonna go fetch his friends not surprisingly Curse me, I haven't even played uh, Cyberpunk yet, and I kind of don't really care. But I mean, between Cyberpunk and Game of Thrones, life is full of disappointment, isn't it? <laughs> and speaking of Game of Thrones, uh, my girlfriend had never seen Game of Thrones before, so I was talking to her about it the other day. And then at one point she goes, how, how many seasons is it? And I said, uh, five. <laughs> There's only five seasons. We don't speak of the other three seasons. <laughs> yeah, there's a recent roadmap, wasn't there, for Cyberpunk? Give it some time. I'm trusting you here. I so hate that that is the reality for most games these days. You have to wait till it's in a playable state. Like, Baldur's Gate. Uh, Shadows of M is probably my Baldur's Gate 2, Shadows of M. 
If I had to pick one game as my all-time favorite, it would be that. So I'm hyped for Baldur's Gate 3, but I hate the fact that it looks so good and it's so exciting and all that. But um, apparently only, only the first chapter is done and the rest of it's not so bad. Oh, yeah, the, although they were, they were okay, but I mean, you know. Season 5. You say you want a good girl, but you want the bad pussy. Fuck me, Rigid. If you say so. The, the whole Dawn storyline. Fucking hell. We're near the objective. Anyway. Don't get me started. Fucking Game of Thrones. Flops in the novels too, I suppose so. Yeah. I like D&D who are like, you know, they're all about subverting expectations. But when the, the expectations are that it'll be good, then it's, you shouldn't be subverting. I forgot to call in Evac. So we are going to be in for a spot of reinforcement killing. Also, imagine my disappointment when I saw the, what's it, Shannara Chronicles TV series. I just didn't have the production value. Seemed to kind of shit. Absolutely. Because Shannara Chronicles was amazing. Love those books. I think good, uh, converting fantasy to television well is phenomenally expensive. Uh, let's get right up there, shall we? So do, do you mean uh, Chronicles, the, 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 the TV show? How do you make a TV show into a novel? I don't quite follow. Oh, yeah. Fuck are these things? Into the building, Overwatch. I guess that'll be okay. Got it covered. I'm on it. I don't think we're alone out here. Yeah, indeed, Nero. I remember Shinora being quite darker. And the character of Polgara was amazing. She was cool. Got some advent here. More floating heads. Enemy is still up. Not good. I've got eyes on an advent position. There we are. Okay, rocketer, rocketeer, and officer. We still have the rocket. Those lads spread out big time there. I just want to rocket these two and be done with it. Oh! See? Right, you lads didn't see anything there. That was a totally unavoidable and completely tragic Completely tragic bit of uh, death. We zap the advent officer. Take care of him on the next turn. Slash the rocketeer. It's the Barabosh.
The scout is going to be very hard to take down. Look, 72%. I think I need to hang on to this grenade. We'll see if we can get a direct fire shot on the scout with our most accurate person. When Andy is so hot head, it's just a floating head. Makes sense. Big deal. On your order. Holland. Hang on, don't forget about the officer. Stop me. Well, you only get the thunk if you actually get the kill. As you can see there. Seal ausgeschaltet. On the move. Seal ausgeschaltet. I <laughs> got that lad's just frozen out in the open. Gotcha. Ew. Just watch my back. Got it covered. Take any wounds this mission? I think we did take the one wound. Yeah, on the uh Shinobi. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Wird gemacht. Guess it's my turn. Have officer corpse. That's important. We need a bunch of officer corpses for Talon rounds. And the, the sooner I, I put Talon rounds onto my assault troopers, the better. I mean, that one lad who has the extra crit damage from run and gun activation with Talon rounds will have, I think, 80% chance to crit. Sie haven Verstärkung gerufen. It'll crit fucking hard. Begebe mich zum Ziel. I mean, fair play to Advent, that'll be wasteful. They're just sending, you know, disembodied head, heads out to do the fighting. Smart. I've got to do the uh, stun lance autopsy pretty quick. I don't think it affects your supplies at all, Neurolance. Neurolancer, does it? I'm glad to see our new recruits aren't hesitating when it comes to taking out the aliens. Non damaging bonus use. Yes, a bonus ice grenade usage. 26 days. Ouchie. So assassin, assassin, assassin in all these places. So, East Asia is all the way down to 2 and 1 with Vigilance and Strength. Pretty soon, New Arctic, once it goes past 5 Strength, we'll have to go fully into hiding. I think we should be operating in East Asia again. I have a very good chance here to be able to hit a number of the... Um, uh, what's it? Missions? Uh, liberation missions, although... to Vigilance, to... 
Let's move across. Setting course for Sector 14, East Asia. Recruitment. Metal scanners. How much do they cost? Because we need to produce three more as soon as we can. Metal scanner. Ten supplies each, eh? Hey? Before the end of the month, let's hit the black market. Avengers Sell what we can. I'm not kidding. I want to give metal scanners to my Haven advisors, like, now. Like, today. Autoloader and drone wrecks. Drone wreck. I could actually offload a few autoloaders if we don't need them. It's on corpse, speed, make wreck, stock. Fire, autoloader, no. New orders, Commander. I don't want faceless. Remember in the last campaign that what, what, at one point we were losing like a third of all of our income to faceless. And as was pointed out to me in the comments that faceless undermine all of your activities. So it undermines your intel gathering as well. Meaning that you have less lead times, infiltration times. It's really bad. You shouldn't be having an advisor in East Asia. Let's get a different lad in there. Yeah, you're right, well, I remember when we finally did those missions, they were insane because there were so fucking many of them. Setting course for East Asia. The battle scan is personally, I think, if you equip them on someone in a region where they are faceless, it should reveal them instantly because, like, would it make sense that if you gave your Haven advisor a battle scanner, he'd be like, right, all you lads, up against the wall, scan. Instantly. Another important step forward in our research. The advent. Wait a second, I need to just recolor a couple of lads here. Back ops, so Ivanova and Roy. Rather, Roy. And you need Black Ops colors. Which is five and twenty. Ivanova. And pretty soon we will have an officer who has that ability that will let people level up. So I want to start power leveling my entire roster up to Sergeant ASAP. But that was about time, wasn't it? So who's here? Uh, Skulder. So Osiris and Viking must come out of Haven Advisory. Oh, thanks for reminding me, yes, that guy can finally get assigned now. Bam. Cool, so we've got three full squads, Black Ops, special teams will get uh, another person soon. So I think we should we start working on another full squad. 
Honestly, I can't see myself being able to field more than three squads past this point. It's going to be ruinously expensive to fully outfit three squads anyway. So four is not going to be realistic, but any other people we get, we'll just throw to the bench and they can be ready to replace any losses. Okay, whoopsie. You guys are all in Black Ops colors. Is it Storm? It's all in Desert Storm colors. Jungle Rats. I think let's actually send Desert Storm to go do the defense here. And we can just send one of these specialists here. Also good to know that we're sitting on 81 intel, so we could probably make contact with another jurisdiction fairly soon. All we would need to do is put an engineer into resistance comms. Think about that. Rado, any PCSs? Plus two mobility. Who has especially terrible mobility? A sharpshooter, but you don't want to give a sharpshooter mobility. Shinobi Assault Trooper. AT mobility is really good. Am we going to bother with battle scanners? Probably not. Needle grenades. I think I still want to take out the ice grenade though. It's too good. 66 aim. Combat knife. 86 aim. Very nice. Our sharpshooter. 79 aim. Pistol shot that grants concealment if target is killed. One to three damage, one to three. I think I give that to the Shinobi. Or anyone who has. Hmm. Good chance aim. Let's give it to the sharpshooter, I think. That fucking mobility. It hurts me to give a sharpshooter mobility PCS, but even with that, <laughs> only, only 10 mobility. Crazy. Madness. Okay, we have one more mag rifle. Who do we give it to? Another ranger, I would think. All right, a specialist, never mind. Osiris. Uh, yes. So I want a power level Osiris if all possible. Not really much that I can actually build. That's that good. Seven supplies. Anybody's mental resistance is really that bad? 32 is dreadful. 24. Better. Give me a nice laser sight. There's one. Where's these strip all upgrades, but right. let's go laser sight. Let's go nothing else really. Just laser sight for you. Oh, there it is. Didn't even notice it. Thank you. Expanded mag. 
That used to be down here. I see they moved it. It should be, yeah, elite stock, as I thought. But I still have to do. How about Red Fox, though? Expanded mag. Elite laser sight. Stock suppressor stock. It's very unlikely I'll get much use out of that stock, but we can try. But yeah, laser sight, expanded mag. Like scatter gun. We need 10 mobility though, it's dreadful. It's in gene instead. some basic scopes floating around as well well never mind left to do uh the, the court that mark two we never actually built it was another mag rifle that we built we have biggest booms? We do. Let's get right up there. Flame thrower, rocket, grenades, salt trooper, poison immunity, poison immunity, gunner, poison immunity, ceramic, ranger, poison immunity. Who's got the Fulton? No one. Okay, they'll have to do. Question, which beast? Let's stop the retaliation. That's the first retaliation we're going to deal with. Freda, Red Fox, Kudelfitz, Skeeter, Sergeant, Ironsight, and T.I. and Kink. Okay, this is one of those Advent came in hot and so did we missions. So what does that tell me? Is this the enemies already on the map type mission? Uh, looks like it. Anyone hit these nerds? We can probably get a frag on that nerd. And with biggest booms, can maybe even hope for a kill. Here, get a run and gun. Got a flank. Mm, don't know. This music's amazing. I'm squad side vision from there. Okay, I'll go. One and two chance. Here we go. Oh. Gavin, the old shooter, McGavin. 
Oh, look, Skulder. Oh, right. He's got the battle scanner. He's the Haven advisor lad, so that makes sense. Take a look, see. Okay, nice. Where's the other nerd? Is what I want to know. Is it worth run and gunning? I don't imagine it would be worth run and gunning. All right, lads, here we go. First time fighting the new Chosen. I'm happy to say, though, that we have... We have two rangers, so this bitch is going to get both barreled, barreled the dead. Takes additional damage from three plus attacks in a single turn. And skirmish adversary. Well, I don't want to be hitting her twice in a turn. I want to be hitting her only once a turn. Because it's going to up her damage when she retaliates. Alexandra Vinogodrova. Oh no! Come on, Overwatch, Overwatch. Oh! <sighs> so, do we reckon she's still in the area? Because I want to reveal her. And then hopefully hit her with a rocket to get her out in the open. Gotcha, bitch! Nah, uh, is she gonna move after I hit her? Oh, nice big, biggest booms crit. Yes, come closer. <laughs> yes. I've got some barrels for you. Oh, he has something that's worth uh, checking. Hitting her with a free action, is that going to provoke a retaliation? How can that be five to nine? Oh, she's got some sort of ability. Uh, immune to critical hits. Hit and run. Unities, brawler. 30% less damage. Attacks within four tiles. That's why. Three additional damage. 30 attacks. Banzai. Gain a stackable. 10 aim and defense and cover. Rest your turn. Okay, taking damage, 25 damage reduction till end of your next end of your turn. Every time you attack with a melee weapon, get a stackable damage boost to your melee attacks. So, primary action, gain a slash, movement action, or combat readiness after taking damage on XCOM's turn. So I need to kite her, because someone's going to get slashed now. If I leave Skulder where he is. Don't think there's any way to do 17 damage. Freezing her, I don't think it's gonna do anything. Hmm. I think the first thing I want to test is whether using a free action against her is going to provoke a reaction. If it does, then Skulder is kind of dead. I need her to move, but I can't. As soon as she's in melee range of someone, then she gets a free attack when you damage her. I would agree that damage of time would be best, we just don't have any. The risk of stating the obvious. Um, attacks within four tiles. One, two, three, four. This shouldn't be within four tiles. She, d does she proc Overwatch? Because then I should be looking to Overwatch proc her.
But see, this has the lower damage because of him being so close. Let's first do that. And miss, obviously. Fucking hell. Okay, four to seven there. Three to six damage. Well, let's go ahead now and test. Hmm. Where is that our gunner? Yeah, so, so she does get the prime reaction. Noted. And because we had multiple overwatches, she got multiple actions, looks like. This is fucking bullshit. The fact that she has that ability where she takes less damage from close up is really what's ruining us here. That shouldn't be that well though. She should, as she said, you, you get a slash, a movement. The description wouldn't allow her to flash. Okay, get a slash a movement action or combat readiness after taking damage so i think it's because she took damage twice that she got an extra thing so how do i do nine damage here in a single hit can't so someone's just gonna get slashed and knocked down i suppose yeah impact compensation as well it's kind of impossible I mean, a grenade will do, what, three to six? And freezing her is only going to take one action away. Unfortunately, I think I have to just accept the slash again. One, two... Hmm. What damage does she do? Assassin slash. Guaranteed to hit. Chosen swords, only three damage. to do three to six 70 to do three to four the damage resistance is unfucking believable so this uh is minus two here we go compensation minus three that's annoying i think if this hit if this lands plus a grenade might be enough this, this just shows how important it's going to be to have Rupture, but that's obviously a very late game item, uh, like, sorry, item ability, as well as um, the increased um, hollow targeting abilities. Increased crit chance and increased damage from hollow targeting is going to be vital. Got three damage guaranteed there, so she's going to get one more slash off to Pavlov. Isn't the damage going to be going up? I think it's going to go up. By compensation, minus two. Yeah, I needed that both barrels big time. Still a trooper back there. So 
not go crazy. Let's make sure the trooper dies. I suppose technically I, sh I should have done the flash now because it's an extra retaliation for her. <laughs> so fucking stupid. I mean, he's guaranteed to bleed out at least, so there's that. Look at how the damage is stacking on that slash. I think her slash costs one action. Why is you get burning? Fuck. Damn it. Oh, he fell. The roof. Uh, oh. It's really, really not our lucky day, is it? Get back in there. I'm pretty sure her slash is a blue move, so that she blue moved the ranger and then... Uh, one action, guaranteed hit, so she can do it twice. Guaranteed hit. I wonder if the AP rewards are going to be the same. It's still the same. Fucking rough, man. Good lord. Fucking hell. That is my assessment. A debuff, yeah. I mean, as her and her hit points are only going to go higher. Well, I mean, later on, once our gunner gets triple shot, which you can do from range, I think what I'm seeing there reinforces to me that my sharpshooters need to go down the hollow targeting tree because of the utility of that tree. I mean, if I if I hit her with the extra damage extra crit chance hollow targeting and then hit her with a triple shot from a gunner that should do a gigantic amount of damage then maybe follow up with, a, with a both barrels meanwhile civilians are just getting slaughtered should she be able to uh, should she be able to appear on retaliation missions Oh, you're tracking shot and shooting gets hit. I believe so, yes. The Chosen are going to become friggin' scary. Uh, do I particularly have to remove... Yeah, let's remove that. So, actually, I haven't... We didn't get to see the scariest thing that, that I've seen now from the Assassin, which is Harbor Wave does big damage. It does the same amount of damage as her melee attack. So if you all lined up, she can pretty much kill your entire squad in a single Harbor Wave. So I think the, the way to handle her is going to be 
put everybody else into Overwatch and then have one person hit her. And just do most of your damage to her through Overwatch. If you then get a Chosen who doesn't trigger Overwatch, then you're going to have a bad time. But I mean, as with so many things in XCOM, I think it's going to be a early to mid game issue. I mean, later on, once we have the skills and the and and the uh, the items to deal with her, it, it'll be more manageable. What's going to be interesting is deciding when you are already busy fighting other pods, and then she shows up. Do you focus her or the other pods? And we want to play all pods active. What's going to happen when the entire map's running at you and you have to deal with that bitch? Positive. That's good damage. Three to six damage. Let's take it. Nine points damage total. Excellent. Forty-four. Worth a try. Did it hit? I, I got that one. <laughs> it did. Okay, do we have Oscar Mike? We already used Oscar Mike, didn't we? Yep. No problem, boss. Well, well, I've spoken about this a lot. I really, really, really like the All Pods Active style of play. I love what it does to the game. So I think our next playthrough, when I have the mic running and everything, I think it's going to be an All Pods Active. Uh, do we have flush? No flush. Can't see this bastard from anywhere, so. Was Bonyol. Uh, two forty percent shots. Can even walk fire, but I don't think a walk fire will do enough. I need three. I guess a sixty-six percent chance to hit to to, to to kill if it hits. chosen back to their masters with a few scars to show for their effort that's the lowest number i've ever seen on a retaliation i wonder if that has to do with the fact that the assassin bitch showed up five wounded so following banjax well drg i i, I did uh I, one of my first long war the chosen campaigns was an all pods active one and the majority of missions were actually great. I love how they play. I love how you need to spend more time focusing on entrenching before you activate. And then everything just runs at you and runs into your Overwatch. I really like that. But then when it came to ambushing a troop column or doing a headquarters mission, it was just impossible. It's just a wave of bodies. At least we know these chosen can be killed. Well, temporarily. Combatives, excellent. All set, pretty much. Uh, not the range of turn, high death hollow, easy to critically hit. VPT plus high death, I think is gonna be important, but now we don't have rapid targeting, so. Now, whenever I use high death or VPT, it's gonna end my turn. I think Crittle Fritz actually needs DGG. She just doesn't have the aim. 82 aim at Corporal. It's kind of weak, but. Am I kidding? Never turn down extra damage.
We have a lot of lads gathering supplies and only getting 318. Uh, it's mostly down to that dark event. Four days to rescue a defector. Baseline 10 to 12. Just not, just not doable. Defend supply convoy. All right. Yes, it's, it's that time in the campaign. Jungle rats, you guys ready to go? Who's not available? Okay, our ranger on a covert action. Uh, temple, give me another shinobi. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Brennigan's character is available as any type. Seventy six aim. Disgusting. Do we even have a ranger on this mission? We do not. I'm not looking I'm not liking these aim numbers if I'm honest, lads. Damaging grenade gets plus two. On extra frags. I guess booms question mark. No. Let's keep his mobility nice and high. Sixteen mobility. Let's do that. Uh, 15 mobility rather Indeed ML Booze Martin was a god in the last campaign wasn't he? Two shinobis, we should do okay. 67 aim. That's a yikes from me. Defend the resistance to Black Convoy. We've got two Shinobis, we should be fine. Sky Ranger deployed. In position I mean, MAL, the closest we have to booze would be Cassie. Cassie Barton. She had 78 at Rookie. So I think she had 83 or 81 or 82 at Squaddy. I made her a gunner this time. So. At the lower level, she would have done better as a sharpshooter, but once she gets up to, I think, a tech sergeant, and she has triple shot and a mag rifle, a mag cannon, then we're going to appreciate that extra aim. Resistance boys. Двигаюсь в указанную точку. I'm on it. On it. Already there. Oh, the blocker body one. So far, we might be over sixteen. Already there. Ten four. Aha, me muevo. Dashing. Okay. So assault rifle, that's good. Sometimes when you get too many SMGs on your resistance lads, 
freaking sucks because he's have no damage. Look at this Zuzana Vinog Vinog Vinogdrodova with Ever Vigilant and Light him up. I think these are the same lads who were so so good at that uh, defend the resistance tap mission. The data tap mission. Double mech, it's a lot of hit points, but at least they're standing out in the open. Oh, shit, everything's too far away from the main squad, so it's gonna be very difficult. I uh, hope that I have a specialist with Oscar Mike because we're going to need Oscar Mike to get close enough. Really? I just killed you. This is something I seriously think that they are going to have to patch though. They 100% need to give her a cooldown. There's no way this stupid bitch can be able to just to reappear like on the same day that I just killed her. And give me a fucking break, man. Stupidity. Uh, does my grenadier have... Mike, he does. I don't feel like I'm moaning unnecessarily. That's a little stupid that she can just show up on the exact same day. What, what do you think is fair? Like a, a 10 day cooldown? Is that fair? That's fair. Okay, Conan can run and gun. I don't know what I'm gonna do about those lads. Is there any blue move here where I can get vision on a mech? Negative. Ooh! Ah! Oh, big bada boom! Just don't scatter to just don't scatter to the left, please. Ready for the fireworks. Her appearing on the same day is actually normal. The spoilers. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Like story-wise, it fits, but I mean game balance and logic-wise, it's fucking stupid. Well, honestly, I think you need to look at it the other way as well, because it, it, I think it, it amplifies difficulty in the wrong way and on the on both extremes, because if you are doing exceptionally well, then you can farm her for, for AP, which I don't think should be a thing. I don't know about that. The impression I get from the Discord is that they, most of the responses you get to, please change this, please nerf this, is like, sure, if we ever get a chance to do it. It's a resources thing. But as ever, there'll be a mod that'll fix it. If anything's gunted, it gets ungunted by, by mods. Yeah. So unfortunately, I think I just need to let this bitch do her worst for a turn. We'll just see what happens, frankly. I suspect that she's going to harbor wave and kill the entirety of my haven people. Naughty Dread, don't worry. I, this is like my fifth or sixth attempt at this mod and just get my ass kicked every time. Sixty-four is a bit low for a, sh a regular shot. I'm on it. I might want to actually zap that snake. Yeah, and then take a shot on the next turn. 
I cannot see the snake from there. I mean, come on. So if I can kill the snake this turn, on the next turn I'll let her do her thing. Then we're going to move up around her, overwatch. And then every single other member is... God, you guys are going to get harbor waved. So everyone except one person will overwatch. And the other person will do some damage. And hope we can kill her on overwatch. I mean, I've got like 14 or 15 people on the field here. 69, 64, may as well try it. Right, here comes a giant hover wave. Yep. There shouldn't be too much damage considering she hasn't been able to boost it. I think hover wave is now tied to uh, right click damage, which stacks the more she attacks. And it actually missed which is super interesting also reinforcements need to stop if she's going to be on the am I, am I whinging too much now i'm just whinging too much now Copy that. Come get some. i can handle that and if she's going to sit back there and harbor wave and miss through cover, then perfectly happy with that. Although harbor wave knocking people down is going to be fucking devastating when I'm trying to deal with all these reinforcements. Now, because I don't want to get Harbor Wave to shit, I need to spread everybody out, which is not what I want for dealing with these reinforcements. You want everybody clumped up to give yourself the best chance of the reinforcement pods being nice and close. Now, if, if the reinforcements were to, you know, pop, let's say, here in this corner, away from everybody else, we'd be so fucked. And that's just because it becomes damn near impossible to get the, all the damage down onto those pods. Well, everyone's so spread out. Okay, Maybe for my next playthrough, I need to just accept that my sharpshooters need to be hollow targeting specialists right from the beginning. And I just level them with rapid targeting and all the hollow targeting stuff. And just, and just expect them for the most part to use their pistols. see a single uh mech yeah, boy. sentry trooper A needle grenade could do for that sentry, but too far away. The problem is people are close. Ooh, 
shoot and then overwatch or shoot and shoot with, with Vinogodrova. Everybody else needs to overwatch. Still got a mech that needs to be taken care of though. How the fuck am I going to kill that mech? Go on, Griff. Missed. You fucking muppet. I, I. Lads out in the open, kind of doesn't matter against her. 74 to hit, 41 to shut down. <laughs> Lads! I think I need to both barrels this thing. Uh, nothing for the sentry. Seems doable. You know that was good. Yeah, I remember that I'd command, but uh, I thought a direct fire shot with a mag rifle is about the same. This needs to come on. Suboptimal, that is. But, Jicked, uh, you're going to die, yeah, I think. No. Sup, Jet Varnus. Two hit points. That sentry hits him, he's dead. He has command, I can maybe shoot him with command still. But who can I command that can actually kill that sentry? Skulder. It's our best bet. 81 aim. It's only an assault rifle though. There's a flank, right? Or did I screw that up? Okay, so that's a 70, a 74, a 65, a 60, and an 85. That all missed that sentry. Great work, lads. Great work. Why not a 67? Hey! <laughs> so we get the 67 hit, and then we get the crit. 20% <laughs> crit. You gotta love it, it's so stupid. That does no damage because of the impact modeling. It's fucking so dumb. So she's taking like no damage now. Uh, uh, at last. Impact compensation, 25 damage reduction. Look at that. So I can, I can only do three damage to her. And she gets to. Uh, my bleeding. Uh. So if I slash her now, all I do is three points of damage. I suppose she can blue move, kill there, and then kill or kill there. But I think it, it's always bleeding out, though. The point is, it's almost never worth it to attack her. Fucking stupid. Oh, that's right. Yeah, resistance just get killed. Okay, maybe maybe this is the tactic. Just group people up and hope she uses blind. Because obviously the, the blind is, like, you know, not scary at all. 
Do we have it up both barrels in range? Negative, no both barrels, only a single barrels. It's overwatching like that, even the way to go. It is, after we run into Slasher. So we get close enough that we get accuracy while not. Also, zapping does nothing. Three to six needle grenades. How far can Jack go? Pretty far. So I think a grenade plus a slash should do for her. Maybe the overwatching wasn't worth it. Just three damage minimum, obviously. That hits at least. Six points. Can Jack do six points of damage? Can. That said six or seven, but she did five. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Very cool. Very super cool. the immortal Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is bullshit. Roger that. Eyes peeled. I hope he's carrying a medkit and I can stabilize him with his own medkit. The strain that this is going to be putting on our roster with all of the injuries is fucking crazy. I don't know. I need more time to encounter this and think about it some more, but I really don't like. I, I think they've kind of overbuffed. Chosen a little too much. To be fair, they're very difficult to buff properly because they, 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 they went from too weak to too strong. I think I need to face the other two to be able to be sure. I wonder if. An, if, if impact modeling is standard on her, was that, that that's what's making her bullshit? It's the it's the stacking damage reduction. I never get she gets damage stacking uh, damage increase on her attacks as well, and the fact that it all applies through Overwatch hits as well. Mm, that's no bueno. It's, it's it's been five ability points for as long as I can remember. Okay, on the plus side for us here, we've got feedback. So these sectoids, I just need to wound most of them. As long as they're, they're down to four hit points, they should die. Ninety-four percent. Some. <laughs> and they both rolled minimum damage. Three, four, five, six. So it's 25 on 25. That should be pretty low. Man, this mission is fucking burst. One in two chance. Just fucking. I'm so triggered. I'm not even thinking straight. I'm just. 
pushing buttons at this point. I guess that'll be okay. Burn them out. There's still another whole pod out here, by the way. There's no way where we can get flanks, is there? Nice. See, you may as well take the low percentage shots. I mean, 94s are going to miss anyway, so you may as well take those 16% shots and 29% shots. Although that one's already burning, so that's a 66% chance that he burns to death. To get as many of these guys down to four hit points as possible. I kind of think you guys are saying the same thing. So you're saying it's about challenge and reward to keep you going and interested. But the balance between challenge and reward is what balance is and that's what we mean the game is balanced the challenge posed by the enemy is balanced by the reward and by the tools that you have at your disposal a lot of games have a similar issue it's kind of like like room world as well like in a lot of room world playthroughs those first few cycles are unbelievably difficult inverse difficulty curve but the problem is like if you were, theoretically if you were to balance the game perfectly so it has a perfectly linear balance uh, curve from early to late game then arguably that's boring and people wouldn't be wrong to say that it's boring Fine, fine line, isn't it, lads? Jacked, I think you just gotta stay back, dude, because he's got two base hit points. Crazy. What do you shoot? Take toys so seldomly shoot. Stun lancer corpses. Ooh, three stun lancers. Nice. The SMG shot actually hits and does four damage. Unbelievable. Or you can fuck off. I don't know why are they... This is called yellow activation, isn't it? They are now shooting after being activated. That has to do with force level, doesn't it? Give me six damage on that uh, swordsman on the right. Both minimum damage again. Again, double minimum damage. That's pretty sus. So if it's one in 16 or 8% and twice in a row, that leads me to believe it's coded now that if you have needle grenades and you hit more than one enemy, it's automatically going to give you double damage, uh, minimum damage. So that we've got to test. We've got to see if we can get something other than minimum damage. So this flamethrower shit pisses me off. Oh, I'm borderline ready to fucking rage quit out of this now. Vale, 
Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, we got a three and a six. So that's just two 8% chances in a row. So I just got very unlucky. He's still disoriented. He is. We have removed disorientation. Do not. This might sting. The thing I got to remember is that you know you do get diced. It does happen. Yeah. Okay, so in this mission alone, <clears throat> on that one uh, sentry, 70, 72, 74, 85, 64, all missed. Then on this guy, another couple, then there was the 94% that we missed there. Oh, fucking cursed, cursed mission. Now oh, this bullshit. Well, there must be a square here where I can hit them both. I can help. I'm just gonna leave people out in the open because who gives a shit? I mean, fuck, whatever. I need to stop after this mission. I'm so triggered. <laughs> so pissed off. It's one of the most triggering episodes I've ever had. The amount of missed shots in this mission is fucking unreal. That's a nice miss here. He's only got 45 accuracy, so... Ugh. There we go. But I needed. left a single burning snake is left I'm annoyed well speaking of not knowing how the game works I do think that there is a sweet spot in terms of your enjoyment 
I do think that like once you get to know the game systems completely, like you know exactly what's going to happen in any situation, I think it becomes less fun, personally. That was fucking bullshit. That was one of the most bullshit missions we've ever had. Chosen are incredibly resilient. Despite our victory over them today, they certainly are incredibly resilient. If we wish to destroy them permanently, it was easily critically hit, decision shot, or lone wolf. I think I'm gonna go lone wolf for her over high death hollow because her aim is so crap. But we will take the extra damage on holo targeted stuff at the other level. Uh, sniper and specialist, no thanks. Specialist and grenadier, no thanks. Well, thank goodness we have this infirmary because holy shit. Let's get these negative traits away. Fucking hell, that was crazy. Crazy mission, that was. They shouldn't be showing up on enforcement based missions. It shouldn't be showing up the Chosen. Right, okay, I have to stop now. I'm so pissed off. I shouldn't be playing now. We didn't lose any of our actual troops though. We only lost reinforcement lads. Before the end of the month, let's quickly go to the black, uh, black market and see if we have any items that pay double for this month. Uh, auto, auto loader stores. Auto loaders. Look at how our income just keeps going down. We keep losing people. And that, that dog event lowering our supply gathering has ruined us. We were we were pushing five hundred. Eight hours. Great, thanks. I had high hopes for the Fucking hell, man. Can we find these fucking faceless, please? I'm getting seriously pissed off now. Ugh. Avenger plotting new course. This is just an experimental campaign. This isn't a serious one. Oof, blood, blood is boiling. Blood is boiling. Thanks for watching, lads. I'll see you tomorrow for more stupid bullshit. But when we start tomorrow, the... Not all pods active. What's it called? DRG Lord? Whatever your mod's called. It's basically uh, all pods active. We can have that active tomorrow. Before we go, let's do a little raid. Let's, let's see who's streaming. So we'll send you guys on to someone else. Podless. It's called Podless. Uh, Sips and TGov. Okay, let's go raid TGov. TGovner is one of the nicest guys. Plays Dota. Go give him a watch and a support. Thanks, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.